Yes. Nice fish. <laughs> oh, oh! There we go. Fish on. Got him. Got him. See him? Eat it. Oh! Oh, got him. Right on. Oh, there we go. Oh, my gosh, was that a take? There he is, fish arm. Every angler has a favorite time of the year to chase fish with a fly. Whether it be during the blossoming spring, during the green of summer, the colors of autumn, or during the cleansing white of winter. It merely offers a backdrop to a pursuit that has attached itself to the soul of a fly fisherman. Rod, reel, fly, and fish. Oh, there's a big fish. Oh, big fish. There we go. Big fish. <laughs> Under that log, behind that rock, or deep in the dark blue could lie the fish of a lifetime. It's in that helpless hope that the angler will march from year to year through a lifetime, hoping the next cast connects dreams and a fish of a legend. Welcome to Seasons on the Fly. Welcome to Seasons on the Fly. I'm Greg Heister. The month of September is approaching in the state of Alaska, and that means that fly anglers here are now starting to turn their attention to the silver salmon or the coho because of the way they love to chase down a fly. Normally it's done in freshwater, in rivers, or in streams. Well, this week we're with Larry Larson of Wild Alaska Sport Fishing and Cruises, and ladies and gentlemen, we're in saltwater. This is Seasons on the Fly, and welcome to Southeast Alaska. Oh, you got Fish on. He ate it. Not the water surrounding Juneau, Alaska, rich with salmon. Historically a food source for the Clinket Indian, now a source of fun for visitors from around the world. Hey, this is better than breakfast any day. We're on the water seven days a week for, for almost 150 days a year throughout the summer. We cover about 7,500 square miles of the inside passage. We, we cover literally thousands of runs of salmon in that area. <laughs> nice. Hey, right on. Here. Hey, we'll take them home. Nice. The Inside Passage, the waterway between Northwest Washington and Southeast Alaska. It's like a flowing postcard, an aquatic pathway established for shipping, but touted as a world-renowned tourist attraction. Come on. There we go. Right on. There we go. Fish on, it'll boy Greg. Silvers are probably nice job. the most cooperative, no the most dynamic, the most goes. aerobatic of the five salmon species. I, I <laughs> buy into that completely. You know, there's nothing like a, a bone crunch and run from a king. And they're my favorite of all the salmon. But the cohos, by sheer numbers, their aerobatics, and yes, their cooperativeness, they I think Far and away, they're the favorite fish. Of, uh, of the fishing community, for sure. There he is. He's out. He's in the net. The average coho, 8 to 12 pounds. They can easily get to hey, 20 plus pounds. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, man. He's beautiful. Look at the colors in that guy. Chris Christofek from Minnesota. Even for a man who lives in the land of a thousand lakes, Alaska held surprises. There's no people. Uh, we saw very few people this week on our trip. Uh, the scenery was spectacular. Uh, even with, uh, with some fog and some rain, it was still very beautiful. We had a couple of days where it was very nice and bright, uh, bright sunshine. Uh, that was quite nice too. And you know, the fishing's fabulous. You know, beyond, beyond what I thought it was gonna be. Pictures just can't do it justice. The, the scale, uh, I guess, was more than I expected. You know, just how massive everything is you know even when you're right next to it it's still massive you go from glaciers to waterfalls to you know mist covered mountaintops it's unbelievable he's coming home there he is man a little bit bigger fish again a little bigger yet got him got him Boy, Greg, 
<laughs> Since we cover again this enormous area, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of coves, fjords, bays that we can drop the hook and spend the night. When Seasons on the Fly continues, time to try a dry fly for salmon. Come on, big boy. Oh, oh the God. brightest guy in the box. Yeah. Captain Larry Larson finds more silvers. You'd think you're in a freshwater pool with this many fish. And the whales announce their arrival when we come back. Seasons on the Fly is brought to you by Loop. Join the Loop Army and help take North America by storm. And by Next IT, intelligently guiding people to answers. To travel by boat through this area of the Inside Passage is to take a trip through some of the greatest wilderness that the planet has to offer. Admiralty Island, the Clinket Indians call it Kutsnuwu, meaning Fortress of the Bear. This island has the greatest density of brown bears in the world. I think every little boy who, uh, who opened field and stream saw the, uh, the compelling nature of Alaska and the wildlife, the fishing, to say the least. And so I guess at an early age, but uh, my wife Susan and I fell in love with the Pacific Northwest and the Inside Passage uh, later in life. And we, we uh, wanted to make this our home and it's where we uh, choose to maintain our lifestyle. Turning a boyish fantasy into a floating paradise and a seasonal career, Larry Larson left behind corporate America to spend his summers here. And now he passes his passion on to others. I traveled the world uh, for a heavy equipment company, and the compromises that came from that uh, crazy travel schedule are now completely thrown aside in this endeavor where Susan and I are able to be in the most beautiful place in the world together all the time. This trip doesn't cater to just the fly guy. In the open water, trolling flashers and rigging can bring the great prize to eat. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Fish, fish on, fish. fish on, there he goes. Don't set the hook. Don't, Don't set the hook, fish on. Keep it tight, babe. And so being able to go to fish that we know are there when our guests arrive is of critical importance. Rather than you should have been here last week or they're due next week, that kind of a thing. We go to the fish. Go reeling through the island, keep your rod bent. Keep him tight, keep him tight. It's a nice, nice coho. I need to get through this side of you. All right. Oh, there we go. Oh, All yes. Right. There he is. All right. That's what we came for, boys. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. That's okay. The very first one that my dad caught, you know, a great big coho. Uh, that was uh, that was great. Now that's a fish. That's what we came for, boys. <laughs> yes. Nice fish. Uh, watching all the salmon uh, back in the little alcove that we were, we were tucked into was, you know, I don't know how you even describe it, just thousands of fish swimming around, jumping out of the water. That was probably my, you know, it's very visual, so that was probably my favorite fish. That waterfall means that fresh water will collide with salt water, and this cove is a staging area for silvers preparing for the next generation. <laughs> oh, 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 what a take! Hey, John. <laughs> right on. We found a, a really nice school of cohos in a cove staging to spawn on South Baranoff Island, which is a very wild place as you as you saw. This little girl's bright. Not just anybody can get there. It takes a concerted effort. Got a double on. Got a double. Nice. <laughs> Whoa, look at him go. Oh, 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 fish off. To get down there, the weather needs to cooperate. And this week, it was right up our alley. So we found these coho in front of a stream, staging uh, salt water, and we were able to we were able to get a few to go. Easy. In the net, fight over. Not as big as the last one, but that take made it everything so special. Or is good. Wow. Yeah, these, these parasites right here, little sea lice. But these fish, 
We're still in the, we're still in salt water. Yeah. That's uh, the clouser, pretty common clouser, very old fly. Orange, of course, color hasn't seemed to matter at all. The silver salmon or coho is an Alaskan delicacy. Silver sides that darken to bright red when spawning. The jaw develops a large kipe, unattractive to some, but in salt water, these fish exude beauty and fight. There we go. Fish, fish on. on. All right, there we go. deal. Ooh. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, come on. He's <laughs> running with the boat. <laughs> Right. This might be a little better fish, a little fish. Ooh, that's a good fish, yes. Larry. And a couple of It's a beautiful fish. That's a there. pretty fish. Yeah, he's gorgeous. Just bright as a here he comes. Nice okay. shot. Okay. Nice shot. That's a big fish, Larry. Nice. Huh? Nice one. Breakfast can wait. When seasons on the fly continues, migrating humpbacks by the hundreds. More on Baranov. And can we get it done on a dry fly? Oh, did you see that? When we come back. Named after a Russian Navy captain, Baranov Island, covering more than 1,600 square miles, is the 10th largest island in the U.S. Most of the island lies within the limits of the Tongass National Forest. It also has the tallest peak in the Alexander Archipelago. A typical moorage for us is we're, we're going to try to introduce you to something extraordinary. Again, we're the only boat, the only people around, uh, 5,000 foot sheer granite walls of this fjord that is maybe, I don't know, 800 yards wide where we drop the hook. Two streams and a waterfall dumping in one of the streams in the backdrop. And then that night it rained and we had a pretty good rain. And so the cascades that came down around us were, well, you couldn't count them. And so the cacophony of, of waterfalls, these cascades falling thousands of feet around us, it, I can't explain it. When Silvers cruise the shallows, it may be a good time to try a fly on the surface, especially in salt water. I see a few fish uh, kind of dorseling, so we're going to try this. See if I can get one to grab it. I'll warn you about the silver sand. They are moody. When they want to grab it, it'll be tough to keep them off your fly. When they don't, they will make you pull your hair out. Oh, did you see that? Another fish on it. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. See him? Oop, there's one interested. Come See him? Oh, oh right. there's a pink. Pink's looking. Yeah. Come, 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 come big boy. Oh, oh the God. brightest oh, guy oh, in the box. See him? See him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eat it. Oh, jeez. Now what is so if this happens, it may be time to put the clouser back on. When the fish are this close to the surface, you can put the sink tip away and go with a floating line. Oh, got him. Right on. Oh, there we go. Oh, my gosh, was that a take? Fish on. Holy smokies. You pitch a spinner with a spinning rod all day, and it's kind of mundane. Bring it back, bring it back. Do it again. If they're not biting, what do you do? Well, with a fly, we're, we're throwing different colors of flies, different size. We had sinking tippets. We had dry flies. We had dry line. And the neat thing is, in this crystal clear water, you can see the response almost instantaneously from the fish. In the net. Beautiful. You can work the fish, I think, to a much greater extent with a fly and a fly rod than you can if you're just throwing spinners or spoons. It's great fun. 
Oh, and I've caught every fish on a different fly so far. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> that one ain't black. Blue with around his eyes. Yeah, I know. Marine. They're beautiful. Little nice fish. When you're here for a week, the experience isn't all about silvers. You will literally come face to tail with humpback whales, one of the greatest and largest mammals on the planet. The Inside Passage offers these creatures a buffet. The most incredible animals. And Southeast Alaska is, uh, is the feed bag. It's the, dinner, it's the dinner table for these whales, the humpback whales specifically, which you're, you're talking about. We have an enormous amount of whales that migrate from Baja and, and Hawaii here to just eat, to feed. And so they're very active. They engage in the activities that you see only on the Discovery Channel and National Geographic shows. We never had seen a whale before this trip. I mean, we got up close and personal. You know, we saw a lot of whales. There were whales everywhere. Uh, you know, every time we were cruising, we saw whales in the distance. We saw whales off the, uh, right off the bow. Uh, we saw orcas. We saw sea lions and otters. And, you know, the wildlife was everywhere. These are 40-ton majestic animals that are engaged in what they, what they do, and they're social, they don't worry about us. You can only wonder about what's going on through the mind of an animal that's obviously that intelligent, but, but so peaceful. When the day ends, it's time to recharge the engine. Fresh crab and shrimp, harvested in the inside passage, after all, it's called Wild Alaska. We'll be right back. Seasons on the Fly brought to you by Dry Fly, handcrafted spirits made in the Pacific Northwest, and by Wild Alaska Sport Fishing and Cruises. Come find the real Alaska. Yes. Nice fish. Oh, oh. There we go. Fish on. Got him. Got him. Sam? Oh! Oh, got him! Right on! Oh, there we go! Oh my gosh, was that a take? There he is! Fish on! There are many places in Alaska to hook into silvers. I can honestly say I'm not sure there is a better experience than here in the Inside Passage. Nearly 500 miles in a week on the Perseverance. Alaska is awesome. We'll be back with Captain Larry in the future when we go after halibut and lingcod on the fly. This is Greg Heister. I'll see you next time on Seasons on the Fly. Hey, John. <laughs> I was just bringing that back in. Right on, Greg. Oh, that a boy. Oh. Little better fish. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Shoot the fish. He's jumping. Fantastic. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Very nice. <laughs> End of the backing. Oh, nice. I know he was. We like to know. introduce people to, to a new experience, and saltwater fly fishing is, in Alaska, heck, that's kind of a new deal. But uh, we'll talk about it, we'll explain everything that Wild Alaska does, all that you're going to see and do in addition to fishing, and then we'll, we'll see if that's the right marriage for you to come up and experience the rockfish, maybe a halibut or a lingcod, and certainly, you know, a couple species of salmon seasonally. Okay. Okay, there he is. Ready to go. Nice. That's a beauty. Yeah, on a dropping tide. Uh -huh. uh, you know, typically we'd like to see that thing starting to rise again, getting towards high tide to really get him excited. But tide's been dropping now for what, three, four hours? And fifth Perfect. cast, bingo. We well, can probably throw part of my sweatshirt out there. <laughs> Get one to grab. Oh, that's a healthy fish. Nice fish. It's lost a few scales.